as the emojis creativity suggests, the vulnerability affects BMW connected vehicles. This would be the second BMW related vulnerability in the stack buffer overflow section. The vulnerability is a stack buffer overflow during signature verification in the provisioning update functionality of the telematics service. The affected component exists in user space and runs on an embedded system. Modern cars increasingly have a wide variety of attack surfaces, but local, example, USB interfaces from within the car, and remote, example, internet connectivity to the vendor. Modern cars usually have multiple computers, and it's important that they are connected such that a compromise in one component does not trivially translate to the compromise of safety-critical vehicular systems. A typical adversarial objective is to gain access to those critical systems either by employing privilege escalation or lateral movement tactics. The following illustrates some components of connected BMW cars and their respective attack surfaces. Telematic communication bugs interacts with an external actor via 3G GSM SMS protocol. NBT head unit interacts with an external actor via USB or Bluetooth. And the central gateway interacts with an external actor via the OBD2 interface. This particular vulnerability concerns the telematic communication bugs reachable via the 3G GSM SMS protocol. The vulnerability is reachable via a simulated GSM network. Actually, this one got me looking up software-defined radio, USRP, open BATS, and all that, but I digress. The telematic service providers provides the BMW-connected vehicles with e-call and b-call. Its configuration is specified via an XML retrieved from a remote HTTP server. The configuration file is requested when the telecommunication block receives an NGTP message for provisioning updates. NGTP, what's that? Next generation telematics protocol transports data from a car to BMW. It also accepts provisioning update information, which updates the configuration of IPs, ports, URLs, etc., that the telematics communication box uses to communicate with BMW. The provisioning updates takes the form of a digitally, digitally signed XML file. Digit, digitally signed, so we're somewhere on the right track here. The provision data is transferred in XML for, format and is protected from being tampered using signature verification. But the signature of the XML file is stored in hex format and unhexified during the signature verification. Let's take a closer look. XML signature buff size, that is the buffer that contains the unhexified data. We can clearly see that that will be an attacker controlled impute data exit condition. The variable V11, which will be reading into the unhex buffer is also attacker controlled source. And we have a fixed size stack buffer copy destination as usual. Exploity sense is stingling. If we crafted the provisioning data and filled the signature with more than 300 bytes, a, a basic standard stack buffer overflow would happen. Once again, the code was not compiled with any protections, hence there were no stack canary protections in the real-time operating system. And the stack buffer overflow was exploited using remote return oriented programming to get code execution in the real time operating system. Words of power, words of destruction, parse. We were the, the code was found to be parsing unhexified signature data. Digitally signed data always has some sort of formatting that must be parsed to verify the signature. That pre-validation parsing is over is over attacker controlled impute data. Unfortunately, once again, this was a proprietary code. There is no patch analysis by the researcher. And so we do not exactly know what was fixed. 